Hey everybody, it is Food Prep Sunday once again in the Lucky House. And today I'm gonna to talk to you about a little bit of food prep. I got some crock pot chicken already started. Today's flavor is balsamic garlic. And I've got it in the crock pot on low for five and a half hours. Gonna shred it at the end and let it sit there. That'll help get us through for some quick meals through the week. I have my veggies already chopped and peeled and in the refrigerator, ready for smoothies or snacks, anything we would prefer. And then I have a couple of things marinating to toss on the grill for tonight. But what I wanna to talk to you about is sweet potatoes. So I'm gonna roast up some sweet potatoes in the oven today. I have regular sweet potato, just one that was left over for the week, so I didn't want it to be lonely, so I threw it in. But I'm gonna to talk to you today about Japanese sweet potatoes. I don't know how many of you guys have ever tried Japanese sweet potatoes or even heard of them, but they are delicious and I encourage you to give them a try. Japanese sweet potatoes are purple on the outside and when you look on the inside, the flesh is actually white. When you bake them or cook them in any form, the flesh turns to a little bit of a yellow color and that's okay, that's normal. They are super sweet, very deceiving when you look at them, but they're actually sweeter a lot of times than regular sweet potatoes. But they're just as mineral and vitamin and cytonutrient rich as a regular sweet potato. They are also low glycemic, so if you are diabetic or you're following any form of low sugar diet, they're low glycemic, which basically means that they just release sugar slowly in your bloodstream, more slowly than say a starchy white potato. What I love about the Japanese sweet potatoes is they are a little more starchy. So like a white potato, you can cook them in numerous ways. You can boil them and make mashed potatoes with them. I've made mashed potatoes using almond milk or coconut milk if you're dairy free, which we are in our house. So almond milk or coconut milk make fantastic sweet potato, or sweet potato mashed potatoes. You can also cut them and cube them and then roast them in the oven like roasted potatoes, but I will give you fair warning, they are hard to cut, so make sure you use a good sharp knife or you can slice them down thin if you have a mandolin. Today, I'm baking them in the oven, so I've scrubbed them and washed them real good, put them in the little olive oil, I'm gonna put them in at 425 for 55 minutes. I like to rotate my potatoes every 15 to 20 minutes to make sure they don't get too done on one side, and when they come out, let them cool off. You can eat them like a regular baked potato. You can put a little butter, a little salt and pepper. My husband Mark loves to put almond butter on them. He says this is fantastic. Puts a little almond butter that makes sure he gets his healthy fats in. And again, just gives it a little bit of a different taste. I also cook them in the air fryer like french fries, which my grandson loves. Dogs love sweet potatoes as well and Japanese sweet potatoes are good for your pets. So you're good with that as long as your pet's not allergic to any form of sweet potato. So today's message is encouraging you to try Japanese sweet potatoes. Step outside your box a little bit. We do flexible dieting in our house, so we aren't stuck just with one thing. We count our macros, we count our calories, we put it in fitness pal or any nutrition calculator that you like. Weigh out your food so you know you're getting proper size and servings. So don't just guesstimate, that usually does not work out very well. Coming soon, we're gonna be doing a video on supplements and what's in our supplement cabinet. As personal trainers, we are constantly asked what supplements to take and what's good for you. So we're gonna share a few of our favorites and why we take them. I hope you guys have a great Sunday and a fantastic week. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you get alerts when we upload new videos, and we'll see you guys next week.